Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, I am going to examine BTC Pay Server architecture and I will do so by creating a very simple and hopefully clean BTC Pay Server stack using Docker Compose. And I hope that by the end of this series, you will be able to create your own BTC Pay Server, uh, BTC Pay Server stacks and that you will gain some basic understanding on how those components work and interact with each other and how you can manipulate them in a meaningful way. Before I created this series, I played and explored the BTC Pay GitHub page and especially their Docker repository and I've designed this stack according to their examples. And I've also created this diagram that shows the connections between different components in our stack. Um, I will sometimes refer to this diagram when creating my code. And I will leave some links to the uh, diagram and other resources in the description below. Okay, now it is time to actually start to work on our stack. And the first thing that I will do is to make sure that I have Docker and Docker Compose up and running. And I should also mention that I've created a virtual machine with 300 gigabyte mounted um, as a volume onto it. And I configured my Docker installation to use those 300 gigabyte, uh, because this is actually the space that I need in order to store all of the data that I'm going to download. Now that I got my Docker installed, I can create in my home directory, this BTC pay demo folder. And within this folder, I'm going to create my Docker Compose YAML file. Now that I got my YAML file, I'm going to specify which composing version I'm going to use. And I will be using version number three. Let's just clean this up. There we go, number three. Now back to the diagram. And I can see from the diagram that I need to create six services. I need to create the Bitcoin D service. I need to create the NB Explorer service. There we go. I need to create the BTC Pay server. Or I need to create the Postgres service. A Tor generator service or Tor gen service. So Tor gen. And finally, the Tor service. Also for my diagram, I can see it I need to create six volumes. And the volumes that I'm about to create are as following. Bitcoin D data, NB Explorer data, NB Explorer data, there we go. The BTC Pay data, Postgres data, Tor RC for configuration data, and Tor services for our hidden service, again, data. And very soon I'm going to use those volumes and I'm going to create those services. We're going to map them together. And the final thing that we need to do is to create a default network to allow communication between the different components in our Docker Compose stack. And this is it. This is basically going to be the skeleton of our project. And I'm going to try and give each and every service in this uh, stack a video of its own in which I'm going to explain how the service works in more detail. And yeah, the next, uh, the next video will be about the Bitcoin D. Then I'll see you then. Thank you for watching.